what's up everyone hope you guys are all having a great season in this video i've partnered up with snowboard magazine to highlight another board from their inside the pro model feature on the relaunch issue of the mag it's stale sonbeck's pro model board the rome stale mod and if you want to read a little bit more about the backstory and the design of this board you can click the link down in the description below to get your hands on a copy of the magazine but for now i'm going to run through all the tech and i'll share my thoughts on how this board felt out on snow all right guys, the mod is Stale's true twin snowboard that you're gonna see him riding in contests. It is a freestyle focused board and it runs a full positive camber profile. So you're gonna get that more energetic, responsive and stable feel that you'd expect out of camber. It's also built around a lightweight core. That's something you're gonna notice right away when you pick up the snowboard. It's very light and that helps to give it a more maneuverable feel, especially for more freestyle focused riding where you're trying to get rotations going. And it also has a lot of carbon built into it as well. So in the nose and tail, you're gonna find two carbon stringers and they go from the tips curving down underfoot to help give you more energy, more snap and more pop out of the nose and tail. You're also gonna get Rome's impact plates to help you out in the park and dampen vibrations, as well as their high-end centered base. So that's known to be harder, faster and more durable compared to an extruded base but you do want to make sure to wax it regularly to maintain that consistent glide out there. For reference, I'm 5'10", I weigh around 150 pounds, and for sizing for this board, I fall within the weight range for both the 53 and the 56, but I tested this board in a 53. So as far as the flex goes, I'd say it felt like right around a mid flex. It wasn't overly aggressive, but it still came through with some good stability and some good support. And I think if I was gonna buy this board, I'd get it in a 153 just because it had a nice versatile feel that was comfortable in my opinion. But if you're looking for that stiffer side and medium, more aggressive feel out of the board that's geared more towards hitting the largest features and really pushing your limits, I'd consider sizing up, but I thought this board felt great at a 153 at around 150 pounds. This board does run a Biax fiberglass layup, which gives it a mellower torsional flex. I think that gives it a nice feel in the park and do more freestyle focused stuff, especially on rails and trying to dial in more technical tricks on jib features. But it also makes it easier to initiate turns at slower speeds and is gonna give a more comfortable feel making those finer adjustments on the approach to features. As far as carving goes, this board's gonna be plenty capable out there to do some exploring and more all mountain focused riding. You can get it up to some high speeds and get going really fast as you're out there cruising. And it's gonna maintain that comfortable, in control feel. You're not gonna find chatter in the nose and tail. And it's just generally gonna feel solid under your feet. If you do find yourself out there riding through some more choppy or variable snow conditions, that softer torsional flex can make a bit of a compromise, but it's not something I'd really be concerned with. You're still gonna be able to power through that pretty well. And overall, this board's still gonna come through with a good feel, even when you're not focusing on freestyle. But at the end of the day, this board's gonna be the most fun doing more park-focused riding, in my opinion. You can still get some good presses and butters going with it, even though it isn't the softest or most buttery snowboard on the Rome lineup, like the Party Mod or the Gangplank. You are gonna have to fight that camber a little bit, but I found you could still get some good flex out of the tips, and pretty much any time you load tension up in the nose and tail, it's gonna come through with some good pop, so that has a good feel on the exit of those flat ground tricks, and as you guys know, that's gonna come in handy pretty much everywhere else in the park as well. I would say that it is a little bit more jump leaning with that full positive camber profile and that mid flex. It's gonna offer some good stability. It's gonna have your back as you start to step up to those larger features and get into those higher impact situations. And I also like how light it is. I think that makes it a little more maneuverable and can make it a little bit easier to generate rotation on spins. But I do think this board hits a nice middle ground. So if you're a more experienced rider, but maybe you haven't spent that much time in the park, so you wanna start off on those mellower features, it's still gonna have a good feel for that and be something that you can grow with and work your way up to the big stuff. Overall, the Stale Mod is that well-rounded freestyle board that's capable of stepping to the biggest features comfortably, but isn't gonna make it incredibly difficult to take a more playful approach to your riding as well. For me, a couple of the biggest highlights are the feel of the flex. I really like how much tension you're able to load up in this board and the energy and the snappy feel you're gonna get out of it, as well as how lightweight it is. I think that just kind of makes everything a little bit better with the overall feel of the board, making it more maneuverable and just easier to handle out there. 
And as far as who this board's built for, it's definitely not a beginner board. I think if you're just starting out, it's gonna make learning those fundamentals more difficult. I think it's geared more towards intermediate to advanced riders who are focused on freestyle progression and are really gonna be spending a lot of time in the terrain park and working on that. Could also be a good choice for someone looking for that capable cambered twin. So if that sounds like you, check out the Rome Stale mod. I'm gonna have this board linked down in the description below. Also make sure to check out Snowboard Mags right up on the board. I'm gonna have that linked down there as well. Drop a like if you got some value. Subscribe to the channel for more snowboard reviews, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in a new one soon. Later, guys.